we're gonna be building a carport. Uh, my grandparents came out, helped with some wood, and they had all the shelving in the backyard. So uh, basically, we're gonna have to chop all that crap up and uh, try and make something of it. It's really heavy, so this is gonna be really interesting. But we got a plan. We got metal, and I got welded. So let's make it happen. Oh, and then Will. I don't remember his Instagram handle, but I'll put it here. So he's got, he's the one with the conquest now. So dirt nasty conquest, but I'll still put it on the screen because that'll be easier. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get the fuck home. All right, before I, uh, we get too much done, I might as well start this fucking shit. I know I already started it, but so we're processing this into so over there i've got a 12 foot wall section that's what i just started they're working on drilling the holes for the bottom ones that go um they'll go across the sides here at the bottom that will anchor in with some half inch uh anchors um we're gonna put four in over a 20 foot section should be fine um and then yeah it's all gonna get welded in um and obviously it's gonna be 12 foot high so good stuff um so, got a lot of help here, so. Um, but yeah, let's uh, keep going, I'm just cutting away. Well, there it is. Slowly but surely, we got one wall partially done. Uh, we're gonna give her the old college try right now to lift one of those some bitches. Up on top, we'll use wood clamps to hold it in place. Um, but yeah, so we got two of these little giant ladders, so they extend out pretty tall. Um, we'll probably put my work one right here because it's taller than that one. But uh, yeah, this should be fun. All right, so here we are, next day uh, in the daylight. Sprinkling a little bit, but we're gonna work on this thing anyhow. Um, so I have these pieces left over from, I don't know what the hell they're from over. But, so I have those and I'm going to weld from there to there. So that way it'll give us rigidity. It's, it's braced for side to side. And then in the front, I'm going to, I gotta figure out, I think I'm probably gonna have to cut up one of those. Um, and then I'm going to probably do like three feet out. And then we're gonna do another piece. And then over here, we'll probably do like a foot or two out and then up. Um, and then we'll probably do some bracing with uh, like, cause I got all of these so I can cut these off and then they're, you know, that little bit and we can do some bracing with those as well so i know i still got quite a bit of welding left to do for uh like finalizing stuff this side i believe is pretty well done um but i think once it's all braced up then i'll go through and i'll double check it's like this one's missing a weld but uh yeah we're uh getting structure for the most part um the roof is gonna be the fun part that's gonna be using these and we're gonna make our own trusses out of them so um, but yeah, so far so good. We got the, I was gonna say like the hard part done, but I think the, I think the roof is gonna be the, the fun one. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right, so got the first uh, truss made up. So what I did, just took my, um, this guy, and I made a straight line. I did a lot of guessing, but. So what I did, straight line, and then I measured over like uh, three quarters of an inch, or yeah, so three quarters of an inch over from each side of the line, cut, and then, yeah, so mark it and then cut, and then that's what we ended up with. This should be like a 3.3 pitch, something around there. 
Um, and then we've got like well over foot overhangs. Um, I don't want this thing to be too crazy steep so it's still walkable. Um, but this should be more than enough because when you... Um, English is hard. Um, so once it's up there, um, snow should just slide off a metal roof, no problem. So, plus this is about the same pitch as my house, so we should be good. Um, so yeah, now all I gotta do is do that four more times, um, and then it's gonna get really interesting because the middle ones I have to notch so they sit flat on the thing. So that should be real fun. So, not sure how I'm gonna go about that one, but we'll figure it out. So, let's keep going. Alrighty, so there it is. Got so the two walls, and then we got the top one on. We got a middle brace in there, um, and then it's welded obviously on both ends. Um, so I'll probably do another brace right here in the middle ish on both sides. Um, but uh, yeah, it's coming along, um, and then that's where I'm gonna put the oven if you give a shit. Uh, cause I'm gonna be doing powder coat stuff, so. But, uh, yeah. And then I was thinking, so where these two bars are, I think I might put some shelves there. Um, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah. That's all I got for today. Um, I need help to do the other ones, so. We're gonna have to wait till we get some help out here, so. But we're making progress. And then I just need to find a lot of siding. We out here fucking grabbing sheet metal and holy fuck have you ever seen a goddamn rainbow so vivid holy shit there's a double rainbow too at that that's gnarly you can see the double rainbow the whole fucking way there's like the youtube back in the day double rainbow what does it mean that's sick well has got a pretty majestic place up here like the animals you can always hear the fucking animals click clack of the horses from the amish and uh Fucking double rainbows. All right, so I'm out here again, wrenching on crap. Um, so I've acquired some new stuff. So, gotten some tin. We pulled it off an old barn that fell in. So there's some stuff that's pretty messed up. Um, so yeah, like obviously like this piece, pretty pretty jacked up. But uh, and this stack is kind of messed up. That stack's pretty good. Um, so we got some seven footers nine footers it's actually i think like nine and a half but 17s some four footers and these are the same as those i picked up more metal for um we need to do so like this one right here we're going to do one at each one of these trusses um so that way i can do like those and it will prevent so when there's a load on there it won't like spread out um, so just because literally all I've done is it's not boxed in, so it's just angle iron. So all I've done is cut and, you know, welded. So I don't know how strong that is. I mean, it should be pretty strong, but we'll find out. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I have picked up, I have two of those. I don't know. I have, and I also have. A pile over there. I don't remember which ones I got. I think I think these ones are for the width because I needed two of those. And then six of those are going to go. They're gonna act like purlins, so it's gonna attach from this one to the next, and the next, and the next rafter. All I'm gonna do is just notch. So I'll just cut a notch so that way it'll slide over the top of every rafter. Obviously, it's gonna be you know that high up or high up, but it doesn't matter because the um, roofing is what sits on top of it, so it doesn't matter as long as it's flat. So, we should be good there. Um, but other than that, um, that's, that's all I got so far. So, let's, uh, I'm working on getting these other ones done, because once I have some help here, um, I'm going to lift these up, put them on the end, center them, and then I'm using my wood clamps to, to hold them. On the ends and then I'm going to take a sharpie and mark on here where I need to notch them so that way I can put them up on here because if you look at how like this end is on there it's just capped onto there so if you were to envision 
So we need to cut so that way that, you know, so we got cut straight here. Don't focus on my finger. And then we have to cut this straight right here. So that way it'll sit right on top of it. So, but yeah, that's the gist. And then, uh, well, the update. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get these other rafters done. Um, so just got a notch and cut these blue things off. I paint things blue when I get them chopped off. Um, and then, I don't know if I explained it, but all I'm doing, or all I did was right there, is I marked the center or where I want it, and then I measured three quarters of an inch over, three quarters of an inch over, bent it, and then that was the pitch I needed. So I started with like a half inch, I cut it, and then I tacked it, and then I tilted it up, and I stuck it on like a flat piece of surface and then measured from the concrete to the peak. And that tells me my slope with like using like a slope calculator. I believe this is like a 3.2 or something like that slope. So that should be more than enough, especially with the metal roof, it should just slide off. Plus it's, I like it cause it matches the house. So, but uh, yeah, like that matters. But uh, yeah, enough talking. Let's uh, get to cutting. What a beautiful thing. All right, look at that. God damn. And we still got the four GFIs out here. 
All right, so quick update that wasn't in things. So we have a roof on. I put on a little bit of this wall so I could do some electrical. So we had that little post that I had over here. I dug it up. It was through here. We dug it up, rerouted through here, up through here. And then we still got four outlets here that are GFI. And then we go through conduit, outlet, outlet, across, outlet, and then switch for the lights. And then I have some more wire that I'm going to bury from there across here, over here, 220 for that. Um, and then I'm also going to bury 110 with that line as well. And that's going to go along here. I haven't decided where outlets are going to be. There's probably going to be one here, one here, and we'll see where we go from there. I'd like one kind of higher up here because I plan to put a TV and a desktop in here. So that way we can do our live streams from out of here, um, get some webcams. I'd like to do some fancy switching so that I can switch angles and stuff. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm working on this wall. So you can tell I'm by myself. Look at how crooked that fucking piece is. Oof. Um, I'm gonna actually probably weld in uh, some more of this across here because it actually makes it a lot more rigid. So, because right now it's kind of, I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty rigid, but it does move. So, but uh, yeah, slowly but surely, this is this is mind blowing to me that have you even gotten this far um so but uh yeah i'm gonna hopefully get this wall done and then my next goal is to bury that line and do all those outlets i already picked up all the outlet crap so we got these i have six outlets so i have a lot of space i can put them um but uh yeah so we got 220 and then a bunch of 20 ampers and then we got some 10 uh 10 by 2 so uh and it's uf which means you can bury it um but uh, yeah, okay, back to it. All right, so I've gotten up that conduit um, to explain what's gonna happen over here. I'm gonna do a 90 off of here, another box, light switch. This is just gonna be a junction box. Uh, outlets, outlet up there. Then this actually comes out the back and we're gonna have a box out here. Um, don't know if you can see it, but gonna have a box that comes out here and I'm gonna make a compressor house so we can have that compressor in there so that's that plan and then got the heater going because it's getting a little bit chilly and then we're just out here working on this wall so I've got the last two little pieces here to do but uh, yeah making progress and then, uh, yeah, so we got a door in there. Obviously, it doesn't close because there's a fucking wire in there, don't ask me. So, but, uh, yeah, slowly but surely. And then I just need to acquire more materials to do the front. I'm going to bring down this door from 12 feet down to, like, 9 feet. Basically the same as the back. Um, we should be good. If I ever find a deal on some roll-up doors that are really close, I'll probably do that for at least the back. The front, I plan to do a, a hint. A hinge out style that'll go this way but uh yeah so let's get these on so i can be done there it is we got the wall on all righty guys so here is how it's gonna sit probably for a bit i may end up buying another one of those tarps just because um, i do need to weld in that nine incher um and then maybe we'll get another tarp and put it on the front um but uh yeah figure in this video so that way I can get it out to you guys so there it is we got this side on there and it's like a foot and a half or so overhang gee dang so there it is this is all made out of angle iron from the cheese factory in Portage Wisconsin my grandma worked there when it caught on fire and she uh, bought all the metal, so because she was she kind of ran the place, but um, yeah, hell yeah. And then we got the tin from one of the people that helped me. Um, I'm going to leave a bunch of Instagrams right here while I'm waving my hand around and stuff. Um, so for the people that did help, um, some people didn't have them. I'll still mention them, um, but uh, yeah. 
definitely a huge shout out. I would not have been able to do this without the help of all of my buddies. So, because some of these are just not liftable. Like those purlins, like right here. These things. Yeah, they weigh a pretty penny. Probably like 80 pounds or so. Um, if I had to guess, this thing's about 2,500 pounds. The only thing I'm concerned about, and I guess, say what you're going to say, but uh, it's a six inch slab. There is no um, whatever the hell around the corners. So we could crack the, crack the foundation, which would really suck, especially if the crack goes through any of the two post spots. But we're going to find out in the winter. And uh, your comments that say that it's going to crack really aren't going to do anything because what am I going to do? Tear it down? No. Nah. So. Um, if anything, I might look into seeing, like, if I could just, uh, dig underneath this corner, put concrete under there, same thing, like, just at all the corners. Um, we'll see. Um, the hard part is that concrete that I pour under there needs to be attached to that concrete. Otherwise, I could just be doing more damage. So, yeah. There it is. I have a shop. You know, people are nonstop are already saying, well, he, now it's just going to be garage, not less. Well, here's the story on that. All right, guys. So, garageless is how I started to begin with. Let's look at my face so that way you can see how serious I am. So, it's not just about how I am now. It is about how I started. And you never want to lose track of how you started because it's how you stay humble. You don't become a douchebag. So, you got to remember where you came from. But... To me, this is not a garage. This is a shop. A garage is a place where you store vehicles. A shop is a place where you work on vehicles. So to me, this is a shop. It is not a garage. But I mean, people are going to say it. I get it if it's funny, whatever. But to clarify, to me, this is a shop. So, but uh, yeah, enough of that. And uh, thank you guys for... All your support, watching the videos. Hopefully this video turned out decent. Um, I've been, like I know this wall, I didn't film anything, so. Well, there it is. Well, got a door. I'll probably put another hinge on, maybe, we'll see. But uh, for now, and I also need a, a door handle. That is a door. I just got to do the top part and it closes pretty tough. It does drag. Perfect. <laughs> right. Too freaking easy. Now to just fix the galaxy. <laughs> Oh my lord. Alrighty. So those are all cock holes. So I've been busy. I have been insulating. So I managed to find some two inch styrofoam. Uh, and and uh, yeah, so just uh, put it on and then silicone or uh, um, spray foam around the edges and good to go. So, but there it is. So I've still got to do this wall. I have to do, um, I suppose I don't know if I filmed those, but I put this trim on. So I need to do that on the other side because that kind of makes it waterproof because you can kind of, because of how it's fastened on there, like you can, water could get through here in theory. So I spray foam on the outside and then I put that trim over top, so. But uh, yeah, I just got done with the top gable part. Um, so now I think what I'm gonna do is probably the door. So probably get the door done and then uh, I'm done for today. Uh, tomorrow I'll try and get that gable trim. I think it's a gable. Yeah, that trim. So get that done. And then once that's done, then I can go ahead and do the rest of this. So, but uh, yeah, oh yeah. Shout out to Superclaim. They always hooking it up. Um, so they have just a random ass plug. They sent me this stuff, so, uh, this is my favorite stuff, right? Yeah, maybe. They have some wheel cleaner. I don't know if I have the wheel cleaner. Um, let's 
Let's see, I think this one should be the wheel cleaner. I'm all out though. Hmm. Maybe not. One of them is wheel cleaner. I don't know which one it is. I swear it says it on it. But yeah, I mean, any of this stuff works freaking great. Um, then we got some absorbent because, you know, we'd be making messes. So, but uh, yeah, I wanted to. I, I literally messaged them because they had given us a, a box like this before. And because they supported us, I wanted to see if they had a banner for me. So, so they sent me a banner and they sent me some other stuff. So I was dope with them. But, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, I think they've been wanting me to do a giveaway. So if you want in on that giveaway, uh, just leave a comment on the video saying super clean is the shit or something of that nature. But, uh, yeah. And then uh, I'll probably try and draw for that in probably like a week's time or so. Um, but uh, yeah, and then I'll put the name in the description and I'll try and message you or I'll comment on there So you got to respond to your comment and then I'll have to get your address from you so they can send it straight to you. So But uh, yeah, all right get back to this All right door is done Everything is done except for obviously the back wall and then look at all these cans. I bought 40 cans and I have 6 12 13 left so, on top of the 15 I already used on this wall. So, dang. But yeah, that's the gist. Hello? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Sir, you gotta leave. All right, so, as you can tell, uh, it's insulated now. So, yeah, I'm sure I already uh, put videos in there, but I figured I would add this to the video because I was gonna just do it as it was, but it was already missing, like, it wasn't done. So, I figured I would film it, so. We got the back wall in, it's blocked off. I do need to pick up more spray foam to finish that. Um, we're still waiting on uh, 220 wire, and then this will, stuff will get refinished wiring because I got to put an outlet there, outlet there, outlet here. But and we still got to run this 110, and then the 220. Got to dig a trench and all that stuff on the outside. But uh, yeah, not too shabby. So, yeah. I figured uh make this the new ending. So you guys know the drill. Like on the See you guys in the next one. Well, if you thought it couldn't get any brighter in here. God damn.